How's it going, everybody? Hope you're all doing well. And as you see here, this is the Agalite K0, just recently released to the market, and I have put it through quite a bit. One being operational use and, of course, a lot of training use, because realistically, you go through like 80% of training and like 20% of actually using it in real world environments, as in, you know, real stuff. So most of it has been training, but I've kind of abused it. And I'm gonna give you my opinion on this carrier. I'll probably run in some B-roll on the sides of what I'm going through or what I have. If I had any, some of it I couldn't film, some of it I did. But ultimately, let's discuss the things that I like and the things that I don't like on this carrier. Now, of course, first off, you see this is not their uh, placard. This is an HRT placard. That's just what I'm bought into. And that's kind of the nice thing. And it should be standard on a carrier, which this one is. You can run whatever placard system you want. So check that box. Cool. Run whatever you want. It does have adjustability. Um, two sections, either to go low or high with it. I ran slick with this rig. This is a smaller slash, you know, slim lined rig than say their K19s or other carriers, but it is scalable and we'll get into that here in a second. But let's dive in. I'm going to take off the placard up front here just so we can dive into the section down in here and show you the two different um, ways you can attach this to your body. Now over here on the left side is what it ships with. And then over here you can add or do an additional of the spear tubes. Now both of these have their benefits. One, if you're using the original on this cummerbund, their slim line cummerbund, it does come with the traditional, hey, Velcro based, you know, mindset is you just slap this on and then go. And then every time you take it off, you gotta tear this Velcro off and so on and so forth. But the cool thing that they thought about when engineering this was they built this to be removable. So this is the same exact cummerbund with the spear tube over here. Nothing changed because these little tabs, as you see them here, can pop up and you can remove the spear tubes if you want and go back to this. So it's very smart on their behalf that they made this into it. Now, also the carrier has two loops for your spear tubes as well. So all you have to do with this cummerbund is literally get the spear tube itself. Nothing else is needed to make it work. Now it comes with these on both sides, but one benefit that you can get from using this is exactly what you see here. This is a War Poet, you know, the side magazine pouch. I like running one for a magazine tucked in my side just to plus up on magazines because I'm required. Now, if you go to the spear tube, you are eliminating that side wing from being able for you to use it. So that's why you see that I have both. I only undo my right side and this one for the Velcro and for the magazine portion always stays like that. So I can take my placard. Actually, you don't even have to take your placard on and off with the spear tube. This lays on top and you don't have to touch the Velcro at all, which, you know, degrades your Velcro over time. They were really thinking about that. Very smart. So I do like how they incorporated that. Moving on down to the plate bags itself. So the plate bag itself, I think is very interesting and I do like it. Now, this plate bag has a medium plate in it, but believe it or not, the back plate here, this is a small plate and you can barely tell the difference because it really hugs, this carrier really hugs to the plate very closely. So it doesn't really matter. You could run other things inside like the Focus Research Group or whatever they are, the IFAC if you wanted to in this, really it is possible you can run it. Um, I haven't, I normally run those on my others, but I normally have dedicated, you know, uh, IFAC on me in other ways or other locations. So let's get into the side portion or the cummerbund and how nice this is actually made as in comfortable, comfortability, I guess you could say, if that's even a word. Anyways. So this is a very comfortable carrier and you can see just by looking at it how much padding is literally all over this thing. Now I use this in colder environments, not extremely hot environments. So I would maybe consider this being a potential 
issue if it's very hot outside it might retain some heat but it is also you know very meshed so it is breathable so it kind of works in both as you see a downside could be for some people is the shoulder straps padding is not removable you are stuck with them but as in stuck isn't a benefit because these are really good they are built in very well and throughout my use i have enjoyed them so that could be a plus or could be a negative for some folks wanting to remove other stuff. But hey, I would say, give it a try, see if you like it. Then we can, then you can go from there and say, hey, to uh, pawn it off or do whatever you need to. Very adjustable. This carrier fits me. I am a small dude. I literally have a 28 inch waist and it's very difficult to find a carrier that rides high enough and that leaves my midline or my belt exposed, mainly because I like running belt kit. Now, if you run a belt carrier rig, this carrier excels in that because it really opens up your waistline because it is so slim. Same with the cummerbund, which we'll talk to in the back half of how it attaches and everything. So you can run a war belt kit with this and this carrier is very to you and it's not dangling all over the place, which is extremely beneficial in my opinion. So one other benefit is it has a lot of comm routing. You can put a lot of stuff through. I ran ATAC or WARTAC system on this and it worked really great. It went right up here. I put it on the chest. I normally run that kit on a different uh, plate carrier just because I do a couple multi different roles, I guess, in my job. So I like to have a couple carriers set up for specific things. This is my CQB base carrier with a belt kit. That is what I'm running this at. It's very slick. And as you can see, that's what it was ultimately designed for, a very slick based roll. Now quickly before we move on to the backside and the cummerbund, the benefit also is this is attached from two points. This is attached in from the front as it's sewn in and you can adjust it by the back half. So you're literally like gripping the carrier or the plate bag from two sides. It's not one side that ends up digging into your collarbones and it's not the back side that is pushing the plate out and then you have a giant void. It is two locations, which is very beneficial. Now, if you look at this carrier just straight on, let me try to adjust it. Here, in my opinion, is its biggest benefit. It is how they designed these shoulder pockets because most carriers get it wrong as they come straight down or they make this very thick in here. But if you look closely, this is extremely thin. They stopped right all the padding and stuff right where you want it to stop. And that would be because stock placement. This carrier is the best at giving you a ton of room on each side for when you want to put a stock in here and actually shoot properly. Both sides, this is a perfect cutout in my opinion. And yes, I am saying good things about it. And before we go on, I am not paid to do this. I can say whatever I want about this carrier. I don't make any money off this carrier. You guys could buy 10,000 of these carriers for all I care, and I won't see a single dime. This is my real world personal opinion on this carrier, and I get to say whatever I want about it. So I'm just giving you my benefit of this carrier. Like I said, huge, huge pockets over here, which is extremely beneficial, and it was very, very pleasant to use in a CQB-based mindset because I have tons of room in my shoulder and I'm still a small guy. So I imagine if you are a larger guy, you would even have more room to work that stock where it needs to be. Let's flip it over to the backside, discuss a little bit of that in the cummerbund, and we will move on from there. As you see, there's a bunch of sim rounds still, you know, from training exercises and stuff that I've been through. I haven't cleaned it too much. But Cummerbund setup, very extremely lightweight. They make another one that you can plus up and make it heavier. These are removable, so you can easily remove the cummerbund very quickly if you would want to. Like literally, here we go, I just took this one off. It's that simple. Now you could add, or if you don't like that cummerbund, that's pretty cool because they integrated Velcro into the back of it. So you can run other people's cummerbunds if you want, depending on how it goes which is nice. And like I said, this is very easily removable. You can put them on, 
take them off extremely fast. Now, one thing that is very cool is the ability of these straps. Now, I have mine cinched up very tightly, but if you leave the tails out on them, while you're wearing the carrier, you can reach across and cinch them up or pull these back and release them. So that's good for wet weather or cold weather gear. Say you pull it out of your vehicle and the last time you were training, it was a hot environment or inside a building and you go outside, you're like, hey, I have another layer. You know, I have a thick, heavy duty layer for cold environments. You can flip these tabs and it'll give, it'll give you more room to plus up on your clothing. It's easily adjustable. Same with rain gear. If it's pouring rain and you put this on, you're like, ooh, it's, it's a little too tight. Flip these tabs on each side and give you some a little bit more space, maybe an inch or two, and now you can run rain gear very easily. I really enjoy that feature of it, but granted, I have mine set fairly perfectly where I like it, so I don't have to adjust. I found the po point that I like where it's adjusted, and that's where it is, regardless of what clothing I'm wearing or whatever it is. So the cummerbund, like I said, is removable and add, you can add someone else's or they have a load bearing one as well. I haven't used it, so I can't talk about it because I don't know if it's good or not, but just assuming that if it's as good as this carrier, then I guess it's gonna work fairly well. So mainly that's all the discussion that I have about the carrier. I do like it, I do run it, I do plan on using it. I really like the engineering or at least the mindset that they put in to this kind of slick carrier. But like I said, it's modular. You can do whatever you want with it and it'll probably just take it and just keep on trucking. Stitching, very good. I haven't had any issues whatsoever and I think it's worthwhile. I think you should take a look at it or consideration into your next carrier. If you're looking for a lighter weight, slim down carrier that is, like I said, scalable, this one may be the one that you're looking for. So I just recommend it, just my opinion. Uh, pricing wise is about on par with the industry, honestly, about play carriers and stuff like that. As you see, it's kind of set up for my CQB based aspect, um, a lot of chem sticks and stuff like that, but I do normally run this with a belt kit, so that's why it is so slick. So. Ultimately, I like it. I will continue to use it, and we will have an update here in probably six months to a year when I fully really beat the crap out of this thing. Like, seriously, because that's the plan at least is use this in hardcore, more real-world environments than I already have, and I, I've kind of put it through quite a bit. So, well, other than that, go ahead, like, subscribe, comment if you like this kind of stuff. If you don't like this, leave that too. I mean, it's whatever. It's, it's an open form, I guess, down there. You can do whatever you want. But definitely like, subscribe. Consider Patreon or PayPal if you want to see more information about this. Just my recommendation. Other than that, this is a good carrier. I do recommend it. I like it. I'm going to continue to use it. And I hope you all have a great day.